Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. Yes, I am sitting inside the car and I am not standing outside the car like I normally do. And that is because I forgot my tripod. I know, yes, stupid, stupid, stupid. But anyway, it is winter, 8 degrees Celsius at the moment, so it is nicer in here anyway than out there. So it's not that big of a problem. But anyway, hello, it is time for another range test. And this time I brought the Nissan Aria. Aria. Nissan Aria. Yeah, I think that is it. Anyway, it is the first electric Nissan after the Leaf, so it is kind of a big deal. This Nissan Aria has the bigger battery pack, so that means 83 kilowatt hours, liquid cooled battery pack. Yeah, Leaf owners, liquid cooled, Nissan does that now. But anyway, it has a WLTP range of 533 kilometers. So let's see if it can do that. Again, it is winter, so I don't count on it, but let's see how far we can come. I will do one test at 90 km per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions. And I will do one test at 130 km per hour for the high speed range test. Yeah. The car is charged to 100% actually. So having a WLTP range of 533 km, I can drive for quite a few hours, I think. Anyway, again, cars charge to 100%, so let's go. Hello and welcome on this very dark highway. Yes, I already passed the point where the lights on the highway, well, they just stop, they're gone. But luckily I have very good LED lights, so I can see still quite a lot. But that is not what we're here for. No, we are here for a status update of the range test of the Nissan Aria with the big battery pack. Okay. I have to say though that I do not calculate the range based on 100% state of charge, start state of charge, but I do it on 99% because I charged the car to 100%, drove to the charger, the car was still 100%, and as soon as I left the charger for the range test, the state of charge flipped to 99%. So it is fair to calculate the range based on 99% even though I said the car was charged to 100%. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But anyway, an update, the car has used 20% state of charge and I have driven 93 kilometers on the 20%. So that means you can do, as it seems like right now, 465 kilometers on one full battery with this car. And yes, I know that is not the 533 kilometers that WLTP claims it can do but hey it is winter so i can forgive this car for not getting the wltp range the temperature actually dropped to six degrees celsius and the average consumption at the moment is 18.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and i mean this is quite a big car quite a heavy car two tons two thousand kilos yeah it's not bad not bad at all anyway i will keep on driving and i will give you another status update Alrighty, it is time for another update but it is not a good one the consumption gone up from 18.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers to now 18.9 to 19 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and i don't know why to be honest i have turned around because Suddenly I was in Germany, I wasn't really paying attention. And then it was, welcome to Germany. I thought, okay, I have to turn around. But when driving to Germany, so when driving east, there is a positive elevation change. So you go up slightly, not by a whole lot, but a little bit. But even, so that's, of course, because of that, the consumption can go up. But still, we now have a negative elevation change and the consumption is still 19 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. It's not going down. I don't know why, I don't know why. That also means that the estimated range at the moment is 445 kilometers. Yeah, it goes from pretty good to okay-ish. Anyway, I will keep on driving and we will see what the end result will be, right? The car has used 50% state of charge and on those 50% I have driven 215 kilometers. 
That means on one state of charge you can drive 430 kilometers. That is lower than the previous number of 445, which was already lower than the previous number, which was, I can't remember. But anyway, it is getting lower and lower with each status update. And I don't know why. The consumption is going up. It is now 19.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And again, I don't know why, because the temperature is the same. It is still seven degrees Celsius. And the total elevation is going down because I'm driving west again. I don't get it. What is happening Nissan Aria? What are you doing to me? But I mean, it is what it is. This is what is happening. So you will hear the final result at the charger. I did actually do some thinking the last five minutes and the only explanation that I have for the consumption going up is that when driving west I have headwind and when I drove east I had tailwind but I don't think there is a lot of wind actually today so I'm still a bit surprised but I will have a look on the weather forecast when I am at the charger and I will feel outside because I have to plug in if there is any wind and from what direction it is coming from okay so I'm charging up for the 130 kilometers per hour test but first let's get to the result of the 90 kilometers per hour test I started this test with 99% state of charge and I arrived here at the charger with 36% so that means I've used 63% on those 63% I have driven 269.3 kilometers so you can do on one full battery in these conditions 427.5 kilometers what are these conditions then well during my test it was around 7 degrees celsius the whole time and well there was more wind than i thought i thought there was barely any wind but driving west driving east i had tailwind that was great driving west i had headwind and that is also the reason why the consumption gone up while i was driving west the average consumption during this whole test though was 19 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And I think that is a okay result. It is not amazingly efficient, but it is not terrible either. I mean, when I was driving east and when I saw 18 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, I was like, yeah, that's actually pretty good. But yeah, the tailwind. So 19 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers during this test. Again, I think that is a okay result, especially for, I mean, this car, this, it is a big car. It is also 2000 kilos. So yeah, again, quite a big car and a heavy car. The WLTP range is 533 kilometers. And I doubt if you can reach that in summer, you will get close or you will get 500 kilometers, but 533, ooh, I think that is a long stretch. But if you have done it, if you have an Aria, and you have done 533 kilometers in summer, please let me know in the comments below. And now let's wait in this nice warm car and then I will do the 130 kilometers per hour test. Alrighty, the car is charged to 70%, so not really high state of charge, but I think it is enough for a 130 kilometers per hour test. Just deplete 50% state of charge and we have a good idea. The 130 kilometers per hour test is the fun test because, well, you can drive faster. So let's find the entrance to the highway. It's here. Dodging all the lorries or all the trucks, however you call them in your country. And let's see if there's nothing coming from the gas station. There isn't. Power! And the car will lose grip because it is front wheel drive. It doesn't like it when you floor it. And the Aria isn't as punchy as some other EVs. It actually has a very gradual acceleration, which is, I have to say, actually pretty comfortable. And it is really quiet. It is a really, really quiet car. Really nice cruiser. So let's cruise 130 kilometers per hour, back and forth, back and forth until we don't have a lot of battery left. As expected, I am still doing 130 kilometers an hour. The car has used 25% state of charge and I have driven 75 kilometers on the 
So that means a range of 300 kilometers, which is pretty good. <laughs> that is actually pretty good. The consumption is a bit high, 30 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, but hey, the car has a big battery, so high consumption, but still big battery, still means a really good range. 300 kilometers again, really good. I will keep on doing this, probably another 25% state of charge, then I've used 50%, and then I will go to the charger and tell you the final result. At least the battery is nice and warm after the 130 km per hour test, because after the 90 test I was charging with 60, 65 kilowatts, and I am currently charging with 100 kilowatts, so very good. Anyway, let's give you the result of the 130 km per hour test. I started the test with 70% state of charge and I arrived at the charger with 16%. So that means I've used 54%. On those 54% I have driven 144.7 kilometers. So you can do while driving 130 kilometers per hour, 268 kilometers. In summer you might get a bit more, maybe you get pretty close to 300 kilometers but not more than that nah the average consumption during the 130 kilometers per hour test 29.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers so yeah the nissan aria it is actually a very nice car to cruise in on the highway it is a really quiet car and it feels absolutely stable but yeah it weighs 2000 kilos so that is why it feels so stable Anyway, that is the result. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And it would be awesome if you subscribed. And then I would like to say now, thank you a lot for watching. And as always, to be continued.